With eyes positioned on opposite sides of the cephalofoil, the hammerhead has almost 360 degree vision. You might think that, well, they're going to have this big blind spot in front of them. But as they swim, they slowly move their head back and forth, and they can actually sweep over a large area. What normally, if they just swam straight, would have a very limited field of view, they actually have a very wide stereo field of view. Bull sharks, along with great whites and tigers, are part of a group called the Big Three. So these are the top three species that are involved with shark bites. Yeah, so right up here we have a tiger shark. Really different between looking at the white shark and the bull shark. They have really curved shaped teeth, but they're like can openers mm. and they can cut through the carapace of turtles and this reflects their really diversified diet. I mean, it just goes to show you how each of them hunt very differently, but how all of the different tooth shapes are really effective at what they do best, which is cutting through their intended prey. So of course, this sort of tooth, regardless of which one you get bit by, could do a lot of damage to someone, say as us, where we don't have the protection of blubber. The cephalofoil may provide another sensory advantage. They might have this increased ability to sense smells because their nostrils or their nares and have this stereo smelling ability by just changes in concentration from one side to the other helps them locate exactly where that source is coming from. In fact, they may have the strongest scent tracking ability of any shark. But it's not just their advanced agility, sight, and smell that make hammerheads the ultimate hunters. A closer look at its hammer reveals something absolutely astonishing. The ampullae of Lorenzini, the shark's sixth sense, a specialized organ that allows them to detect the minute electrical fields given off by all living things. It consists of thousands of ampullar pores that sense electrical fields as small as 15 billionths of a volt. Any organism has a weak electromagnetic field that sharks can detect through their ampullae of Lorenzini. And all the sharks have it. If a normal shark uses electroreception, like a small flashlight to scan the ocean floor, the hammerhead wields a powerful spotlight. All sharks have yet another sense that helps them track their prey, the lateral line. These cells sense tiny vibrations and subtle pressure changes in the water around the shark giving them a sense of touch at a distance. Sharks will stalk their prey by firstly following a scent trail. It's the scent that will get them into the nearby area. They will use their lateral line and their ears to feel vibrations in the water, which again gives them an idea of what they're dealing with, whether it's prey that's swimming fast and well, or whether they are the throes and struggles of an injured fish.